Hello, my name is Christian Alpen and today I'm going to explain the physics engine and sensor music you see in Hollyhock. Before we start with the physics engine itself, we select a sample from the sounds library and add a simple sampler. We will use it later. Now create a new patch in the same rack for building our physics patch. First we select a container from the modules tab in the browser and add a few shapes. As you see, the shapes appear outside the container. As we want them inside, we right click one of the shapes and go to the Design tab in the Settings panel. There you find the Wear option. Here you can select where you want the selected item to be displayed, in this case the container. Also in this tab you can change the shape type from rectangle to oval. To change the container's size, simply click the lock and resize the container by dragging one of its corners. At last we have to activate the physics in the size tab. If you now turn on the main engine, the shapes will start to move. Let's go back to the container and expand the module. Here you find a lot of options to control the physics behavior. We will now add faders to control the physics speed, gravity for the y-axis, friction and elasticity. With physics speed you set the overall moving speed. Gravity, as you expect, makes the shapes go down to the ground like everything on Earth or float like in space. This can be adjusted for X and Y axis separately. Friction makes the surface change from even to rough and sticky, while elasticity changes the shape's material from hard metal to bouncing rubber. Now we don't want only watch moving objects, so let's add an audio effect to the patch, for example a phaser. First we add audio in and out, so the signal from the sampler passes the phaser. For quick access you can use Yuzin's multi-wiring feature. Simply hold Ctrl Shift while dragging the wires from the outlets. Now expand one of the shape modules, look for the X and Y position and wire them for example to rate and depth of the phaser. For demonstration purpose I add a switch to make the bypass accessible. As you see, the rate and depth values change according to the position of the shape. Let's expand this a little by adding a filter module to the patch. This filter shall be switched on and off each time the violet shape collides with another shape or the walls. Drag it from the modules tab right on the audio out wires, so it's inserted into the signal flow. For an optical feedback, we add a switch to the filter's bypass. Then we need a toggle module and feed its input with the collide status of the shape.
You can see the bypass is switched each time the violet shape collides with something else. This was a simple example to get a basic understanding of the physics engine. In the library you find some very nice ready-built patches like the groove physics. Each bar represents one sample which is played on collision. On the right you find the known parameters like gravity, friction, speed and so on. But also some additional stuff like the overall duration of the played samples, playback speed and pitch. With the numbers at the top you can select pre-configured sample lists. To modify them click the settings icon and choose your desired sample list. Here you can for example add and remove the samples. At the bottom you have Yuzin's usual snapshot list where the overall patch settings are stored. The surround pan symbol is another patch using physics. Here you have two sources moving around eight destinations, for example an eight speaker surround setup. By default their movement is controlled via an LFO, but as you might guess you can use the physics instead. <laughs> 